This part's probably going to end up uh, skipping around a bit. Welcome home, my speaker. Very well. Then Tothaken. Alright, so let's get that upgrade. And there we go. Farewell, now we have the stats to use this properly. And what we can do is that. Basically, we've got this for use in close quarters now. For when we need some fear. Let's see what we can get using the uh, boss's soul. We can get either this or this. I've already done a video on this. It's not extremely good, so... I don't think I'm going to get either of these. Because I don't need this sword. It's not... Yeah, it's not dex. So I don't Truth need it. I mean, I don't need a lot of the swords. So I could sell a lot of them, to be honest. Although, like, uh... You, from a gameplay standpoint, you really shouldn't do that. Like, absorb the souls. You should really just go ahead and, and go ahead and use them to get the stuff. Uh, let's see. Buy that. No, I've already got that. I've already got that. I mean, I can get the greater fair and dark. No real reason to do it, but I'll do it anyway. Come again. We've got a new book to give him. No, not that one. This one. I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the great swamp. And nearly everywhere else, too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, you can't teach you the last two. I don't think... I think you might be able to give... Please, the little creep. No, you can't give it to her, I don't think so. So we're going to have to get the, uh, the final vendor... For that. So yeah, we need the final vendor. Alright. Let's see what we can get over here. Mm. No, we're not going to do that. Um... Wood arrows, feather arrows, wood bolts. No. Kukris. We could get quite a few of those. Ashen one. I think we're good though. Jeez, what? Let's see, what is this at? Twenty, one twenty-three plus twenty-three. This is our. This is already better. See, that's at four. No, it's at. It's actually at one fourteen plus twenty-one, and this at four is at that. So this is the next one. It's the next bow we're going to invest in. So we've got 18 strength. We just need, uh, just need one more strength for that because we needed 18 for this. That's why we got there. All right. 
don't have any large titanite, so we can't upgrade that. But we can upgrade the seeth. Just because. And fuse the scythe as well. Sharp. Uh, we don't have anything for that. We can make it refined if we really want, but that's for if, you, if your strength and dex are going to be equal, but they're not. They most certainly won't be. And then, of course, you could put a sharp on here to make to essentially turn this into a dex weapon as well. I mean, you can turn a bunch of things into dex weapons by adding a sharp gem to them, but not everything be careful. Uh, needs it. I mean, and besides, it's better if you do it to a weapon that's already dex. Oh, hello. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part, huh? All right, let's get ourselves some more arrows. Nice, filled up on them. Heavy sneaker. Now oh, we can get. Uh, let's get fifty. We can get eighty of those. Uh, let's just grab. Let's just grab 30 of them. And... No. Maybe we could grab more knives. We don't really need them, though. Uh... Grab one ember. Goodbye. Now we're going to buy as many kukris as we can with what's left. 63 kukris. <laughs> Alright. We are now going to... put the kukris there instead. And as you can see, B A D B A S scaling wise. So these ones are pretty decent. I mean, that, these are the first knives you can get to, and these are the second knives you can get, and then these are the third. I mean, these aren't really meant to do damage, they're meant to inflict poison, of course. Well, they, they do do damage, of course. But now, it's time to go over here. This, I, I cut it out, but uh, this area is the one that you would go to after, um, uh, you know, defeating that boss. It's just the area behind it. You walk up a stairway and go out. I can show you. And basically... You walk up. That's the boss room down there. It's like you just walk in and go up here. Essentially. That's how it works. And then there's a bonfire right there. I think there might be an item back here. I can't remember if there was or not. Doesn't appear there is. Now, the reason why we needed to go to the Cathedral of the Deep is because there's a, f a force field around this city. And uh, if you don't have the proper thing, you can't get through the force field. We're going to try and take him out the first time around. Drink up. Oh. 
be really good for us if we can take him out the first time around. Some fun fact about him. Ooh. Oh, wow. Jeez. That didn't work. Basically, how this works is you're supposed to go on the bridge. I did. You cross it. And, uh... He can't get through the force field. But, so once you enter the city... And you haven't, like, this is uh, provided you didn't defeat him. You enter the city and you didn't defeat him. Then he'll come back out when you go, when you're walking around down there, basically. That's how it works. Oh, well, you know, he appears that soon. Nope. Seriously? Okay. Alright. I see. I see. It's not an extraordinarily easy fight. Wood standard. Wood standard. There's some exploding. They do absurd damage in comparison. Use the heavy bolts. Alright, we got ourselves our thing. Nope, that is not what we want to do. Haha, uh -huh, fool. You fool. Drink. I mean, as you can see, even if he hits us with a, a regular hit, he uh, pretty much takes all of our health. Oof. Drink. Drink. Really tricky. Ooh, that's short range. Drink up. Did we... Oh, wow. Yeah, he was he was open for a critical there. And as you see, he's got some interesting attacks. Nice. We were able to kill him without actually having to go across the bridge fully, which is pretty good for us. Now, the, the first farming spot, well, not the first farming spot, I already showed you that in the previous video, but the farming spot that I was waiting to get to is that right there, basically. Bonfire is in there, and uh, when you kill these uh, spider creatures, like the ones like that, they give you around 800 souls, and there's nine of them in there, so nine times 800, it's nearly 9,000 every run. And it consistently stays a decent source of souls through all the new games. Actually, hold on. Let me check and see if there is uh, any summon signs on the bridge. Because I think there's supposed to be one as part of a quest line, maybe. I don't see it, so maybe I didn't do something right. Or I just don't remember the right place. We'll see. 
Let's grab all these items. Light this bonfire. We got embers. We didn't really buy like many of the embers, so we can quickly replenish. Ah. Nearly missed that. Alright, let's go over here and get this item. Apologies if you hear anything in the background, like uh, there's other people here. I don't really normally... Don't normally record when uh, there's other people, but uh, I haven't done it for like two days since, so I'm just getting some done. I mean, I do have uh, several days of footage ready anyway, though, but I, you know, I'm just trying to, to be consistent about uh, somewhat. Well, you know, it's it's about as good, like, it's about as good as me laying them. Nice. It's even pretty good. It's pretty good at that shield. I don't think it's going to be, you know, something. Yeah, that was, I was being dumb there. I was being dumb. I accept that. I accept that. I do. I accept it. And I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm using the wooden bolt still. The It's literally the weakest kind. And it's still doing decent damage. drink up. Would you, like, not rush at me is the way you are? Ah, oh, darn it. That's 10,000 souls down the drain. Really hate these guys because they've got that stupid sword skill that just extends their blade anime style. It's like, why can't I have a sword skill that extends my blade anime style? I mean, I suppose you could use this as a farming spot if you really wanted to, but it's not as efficient as the spiders, since I mean, while these guys give you, like, 900, the spiders give you 800, and there's nine of them rather than there being three like these. I gotta say, though, it's, it's ridiculously good damage. You're done, son. Hmm. I need to chill with that. I'm relying too much on the crossbow. I need to not rely too much on the sword or too much on the crossbow. But I mean, then again, like, it, like we're basically just doing the cheese run. It's what we ended up doing. It's not what we planned, but it's what we ended up doing. And so let's shoot this guy to kite him. Now that we've got him. Yeah. Fool. 
You made a terrible mistake doing that. Come forth. We messed up. See, look at that. It's an annoying attack. As long as you don't get both of them, you're good. I mean, when you've actually got more health and you can survive more hits with the bait, I mean, if you can survive more than one hit without dying, essentially, it's a lot easier. But we can't. Well, I mean, we can survive more than one hit without dying. Well, no, we can survive one hit without dying, but if we get hit again, it, it's over. But you know what I mean. I think I'm just going to run past them because I can get to the area. Actually, let me check something real quick. Because I know at, I know at some point that Grey Rat, uh, the thief, is supposed to go out again. And I think it's around this point that he's supposed to do that. So let me check and see. Oh, discovering Irithyll in the Boreal Valley all in a day's work. If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles and should be packed with treasure. What do you think? Mmm, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. What I bring back will be worthy of that name. <laughs> he will, uh, he'll go out and he'll come back like last time, unless you do the wrong things. Like the, the first time he can't die, but the second time if you don't uh, perform the proper actions, he will die. It's like that's why, in the in, in the part, uh, one of the point five parts, we uh, we went and we we farmed up souls so that we could buy the equipment so that we could get Sigward, uh, basically. And you'll see why we needed him later. Why we needed to help him at least. Let me check something real quick because uh, the alluring skull's description is that it attracts certain enemies, and for whatever reason, it's one of the items that can actually go through. Like, there's basically very few items that can go through uh, barriers like this. And it seems that it's a one of them. Gosh darn it, stupid. This is... It's like, why does he even go there? It's so dumb. I hate, I hate this dude. It's like, I forgot that he patrolled and went in that, that alcove over there. It doesn't make any sense why you would do that. Makes no sense. I mean, I kind of know why they do that, because you get yet to go back through that door eventually, since it doesn't open on this side. But still, it's so annoying. Let me just run past these guys if I can. 
but unfortunately there's a lot of people to run past. Wait. I've never tried going this way. And of course, it's a dead end. Well, we've probably just killed ourselves. Yeah, no, we're just gonna to grab that item and, you know, not die. Drink up. Drink up. Drink up again. Thought you could escape Crystal Lizard, you're wrong. There we go, that's an illusionary stairway. The only one of its kind. Ah, I forgot. I thought it was another one of those things that was there, but it's these guys. <sighs> Great. Simply amazing. You see what they do? do is just go. Can we... I'm pretty sure there's nothing over there. Yeah, there's not. There we go. Dang it! Seriously? I mean, I, I don't think I had very many souls anyway when I died. And besides, we were, we're just trying to run through and unlock that farming spot. So that we can... Well, farm, obviously. Because I ended up using all my embers trying to go and grab the items in the lava pit in that one part. Which... In hindsight, probably wasn't such a great idea. Wonder why they actually hit me this time. Did I start running later? Or something? Or is it just a coincidence that they happened to decide to hit me? How annoying. I did not mean to do that. Oh, yeah, I think because we've, uh, I think the s summon sign should be here now. Let's see, about halfway on the bridge. Yeah, we just had to get to that bonfire and then go somewhere else. Basically is how it works. And I think this right here is where I can get a specific item. Which, this this specific item I'm not even going to use on this character. I'm going to use it on the other one. But as long as I can give it, you know, to someone else so that they can give it to my other character, it's good. <coughs> Seriously? Why do you think you get to heal? Hmm? Why do you think that? 
You don't, okay? You don't get to heal. Your kind is not allowed to heal. Every one of the non-player variety is supposed to die. That's right. No. Aw, oh, look, you're out of flasks. What the- seriously? It's like, what the- what is this crap? Like, they gave them so many healing items. It's like... Just to let him die. These inflict a bleed, I can't remember. Drink. Nope. Alright, time to stop messing around. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Can I? I'm too late. I was gonna see if I could hit her. I didn't think I could. I wanted to check though. I'm gonna have to look up where, like, uh, basically when you fight him, you can get his axe. I'm gonna have to look up where you get it. Because you don't get it from the actual fight, like, uh, you find it on a body somewhere, I guess. I wonder why they do that, though. It's kind of dumb. It's like, if, I, if I'm if i supposed to be able to get that axe, it's like, I should just get it from fighting him. I shouldn't have to go to a specific place and find a specific body to get it after defeating him. I should just get it for defeating him. <clears throat> Oh yeah, let me go and check out that ring I got. I think it was this one, the right eye. Boost attacks as, as like as long as you're persistently hitting the enemy. But now we've got that taken care of, so we can get that axe if we need it. We don't really need it, we want it though. Nope. <clears throat> Excuse me, maybe I dodge rolled the other times. Maybe that's what it was. Used a different attack. It's almost like they're coordinated. on him. Hey. 
You're never gonna hit me, because you're already dead. That's why you want to kill him, because Dorfus gnawing is pretty good. Like, the spell gnaw is good, but Dorfus gnaw... It's, it's great. A more powerful version of something that's already good. Sounds good to me. Grab this item just because. Just gonna walk into an area you're not allowed to walk into. I believe this right here is a fake statue. If I remember correctly. I think attacking it makes, and I think attacking and killing it makes you fail the quest line or something. I can't remember exactly. Like the quest line for, uh, uh, you know, Yol and Yuria, a wand of Wandor, basically. Like, I'm pretty sure attacking that dude right there makes you fail it. Oh, I thought it might be you. Good to see you. I never managed to find Horace, but my duty must be done, even alone, as an unkindled Lord Seeker. For the children I knew, bless their souls. We all have our reasons, don't we? Please, take this, recompense for my foolish request, and also a token of protection. May the flames guide your way. Ring of the Evil Eye. Absorb health from foes. From fallen foes. It's only like 33 health. But you know. Any amount of health is good. <laughs> Excuse me. Pointless. Yep. Yeah. I you know, I wonder why they make these little side areas that have no reason to be there. Once again, I apologize if you uh, hear background noise. Or uh, what can be regarded as too much background noise, I suppose. I thought I heard something. Yes. Stealth. All right, there we go. Takes care of that. We got ourselves the item. But is there anything, like, back here? I can't remember.
Did he follow us? All the way around? No, he didn't. Good. <coughs> See how many souls they give. Dang. That's really good. Basically, like, 2,000 all on their own. Jeez. I mean, we already know these guys give like 900. 990, I believe. Yeah. So the, those guys give 990, and then the other guys give twice that. Jeez, that is... Hmm. It's amazing. I think there's a couple more items to grab over here. So we're gonna try our best to get them. Large Titanite shards. We're gonna start finding a lot more of those. We didn't attract his attention. What we're trying to do is we're trying to kill this guy. Because I think there's an item over here as well. Or at least to get past him and go grab item if there is one. Alright, good. There was one. Means I didn't forget. Have fun chopping at me, but you're not going to kill me. And look, it doesn't even follow me. Great. It's real good. Alright, now we can go down this way. gonna want to go over there but there's items over here and you saw that fog that's how you know there's enemies like you'll see like fog and like white eyes and he's there to push you off basically dummy walked off himself next undead bone shards gonna be around the corner over there Tried to trick you by putting it behind here. But there we go, we've taken care of it. <clears throat> and now we can go through here. And what we will find. No point in going up there, because there's nothing over there. I believe there's... yeah, there's dogs over there. And I think there might be... one here? No. I don't think you can actually attract them one at a time. You can. 
I'm impressed. That you can actually attract them one at a time, because most of the time, like with most enemies, you're not able to do that very easily. It was him that I was thinking of that was off to the side. Okay, chill. Chill, dude. But yeah, basically, they put him off to the side. You'd, like, you'd see those dogs think that, like, you could, uh, you know, attack him. But no. He's there to bite you. Essentially, is how it works. Or how it was supposed to work. Since we didn't fall for it. And as you can see, there's quite a few of these guys down there. Blue bug pellets. Well, I mean, these guys aren't quite the same because they've got lower health. But as you can see, they've got the same gimmick of, of the fog that you can see. These guys are quite annoying because most of the time when you try to hit them, you're just going to get hit with cheeky shots like that. You got shot in the head. There we go. Looks like it actually causes the game to lag if you're able to hit them without them being close enough. I guess it never comprehended that someone would be able to do that. I don't know. It's a bit harder now because of that. Three, that uh, you know, that epic 360 no scope. Ooh. The large arrow. Let's heal up. Nice. Now, the whole idea of this run is for me to not really use shields. If I'm not farming for souls, I'm not going to use the shield of want. Even though I'd get more souls if I did, I'm not going to. And besides, you have to have it either hold it or have it on your back for it to actually give you more souls. The uh, shield of want itself. That's what I'm talking about right now. Yep. That guy falls on the floor. Is he still over there, I wonder? Must have dropped off or something. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
see if we can shoot him. Nope. Just a little too low. There we go. Got him. Switch to the sword. Slash down. Curved chain, so it's not a mimic. I mean, I already knew it wasn't, anyway. Because with my mimic crusade, I have to know where all the mimics are, of course. Yeah, joke's on you. Invisibility doesn't matter if you'd never move from your spot. There's no reason to use this right here, because there's nothing there. And one of the new game pluses, there will be something there, though. See, look at that. Walls don't exist. As long as you don't hit a wall directly, the game doesn't even care. Of course, the same goes for the enemy. And I'm sure you've noticed. Let's see, what do we get? T Twinkling Titanite, not bad. I think I remember there being an illusionary wall somewhere. Maybe there was three tunnels. That guy's not weak to fire. Yeah, he's probably about there, was what I was thinking. You don't necessarily need to be able to see your enemy as long as you've got a feel for them. Their tactics. Must be this one. Hmm. So look at 825. And because we've killed that guy up there, we don't have to worry about him uh, coming for us down here. And notice how most of this water is thick, too, and you can't run through it. They did that on purpose, so that you'd have to do this. And be at a huge disadvantage. I don't think there's anything here, but we're gonna check. Great heal. We pro we probably and meant by probably I mean we definitely can't use that. But let's check anyway. Hmm. 
Yeah, 25. You can fast walk, though. And here's about where the guy would spawn, like he'd come down from up there and charge at you. But we already killed him, so he's not going to do that. Grab this, and yeah, we killed him. Don't think there's anything over here, there's no point going over here, but just gotta check. Why not? Yep, no point. the bonfire go over here and, and kill some of them speeders forgot about him. Luckily I had enough stamina and the reflexes to dodge him. ourselves quite a lot. But these guys aren't super hard to kill either, as you can tell. Ah, oh, darn. But they've got that annoying attack right there. Which is basically a unavoidable once you get in there. You know, it's one of those things that stun locks you. Which is annoying. But that's why we got the bonfire before we went in there. We're going to kill all of them just so that you can see how many souls you get per run before picking up our, our uh, souls. Might be a dumb idea because we're, we might lose them. In fact, just to be certain, we're going to switch out uh, this ring for a ring of sacrifice so that that way we don't lose them. Because, like I said, Ring of Sacrifice isn't just for when you want to go and pick up your souls. It's also for if you don't want to lose them when they're just out on the field. Go ahead and grab those ex ex excrement covered ashes. I'm pretty sure excrement is poop, so those are it's literally the ashes of a dead dude covered in poop. I mean, at least the ashes previously of all the other people was, uh, like...